Hello, so I've got this old um, Lingo van. It was my, it used to be my old van, basically. I used to drive it around all the time. I've owned it since about 2011. And uh, since I moved to this place, it's literally just been used as a shed. Um, so yeah, it's been sitting there for nearly four years. And um, I just basically filled it up with junk. Uh, I'm in the electrical trade, so I've thrown a load of uh, electrical gear in there and stuff like that. Uh, just basically, uh, I stopped using it and I brought a new van because um, the oil pump has gone on this. So I need to replace the oil pump and uh, basically give it a good clean. Um, put some air in the tyres, it had two new rear tyres on it. Um, it was a good little van um, and it can be again basically it needs a good clean but um, I'm thinking to add value to it is basically turn it into maybe like a stealth micro camper do the work on it turn it into like a, a micro camper and get some use out of it again and possibly if I do a good job sell it on and it can go towards funding a, a Mercedes Vario, hopefully, that's the plan anyway, so I'll show you around. So, yeah, so body works, but no rust on it, anything like that, as you can see, it just needs a good clean. So yeah, it's a 2007, 57 plate. side loading door so uh, I, say it'd be, I reckon it'd be a perfect candidate really let me know what you think so as you can see it's full of junk <laughs> so but the mileage it's only got, can you see that, 88,000 miles, which for a 2007 van, it's not too bad. And like the seats are really clean. It's got this checker plate um, pattern on them. It's just not full of junk in it, so I've just got to clear it out. But it's got like little extras here, like for us and lighting and stuff, front and back. Uh, they've already sort of got 12 volt socket in the back like a cool box or whatever. But yeah, uh, it's all boarded out. But I'm thinking, uh, you know, insulate it all and uh, sort the oil pump out and uh, get it up and running again. Why not? Um, get a little bit of use out of it and see what I can sell it on for. So, basically it does start. Let's go first. See, so, yeah, it starts, but it's smoky. It's a bit rattly at the moment. So. It's smoky. It will need a, like I say, we need a good clean up. Yeah, it's, it's, it starts getting like, really, really rough when you have it running for a while. Yeah, well, it just needs a, I'd say it just needs a really good clean, so. Yeah, it's going to be Basically, I need to swap that engine out there. Uh, I've got a new, new oil pump for it already. It's 
didn't get round to fitting it this time. I'll put a new turbo core on there. That's all been done. Uh, see you. Right, you get the jet wash on it. And uh, I'll come back and show you what you cleaned up like. All good, there's got no warning lights on the dash. So, yeah. I reckon it'll be quite nice. And it's all that will run in. Uh, it's got all the electric windows as well. them for a while. <laughs> Still the cobwebs and stuff, so yeah, like I said, we'll need a, a really good clean out. But yeah. Not too bad. Club box. Look at you, so yeah. Let me know what you think. So yeah, could be like a little park up in the supermarket obviously when it's clean they're like a little stealth camper so i've seen quite a few builds on uh, youtube so uh, let me know what you think and uh, please like and subscribe thanks for watching cheers